hello everyone welcome back i wanted to show you this quick video on a setup i know most people do theirs in the beginning of of july or toward the end of june but i didn't have time so <laughs> so this used to be my faith wellness and business planner and i'm gonna tell you it has sat to the wayside i had separated my faith planner and you guys see that every Saturday. And um, I never did anything with the update of it. And so I figured that I would just come here to revamp and, and change out. As you can see, I haven't changed out for July at all. June is still in here. So we're going to pull um, we're gonna pull the planner out the cover first. And um, we're just, I'm going to put this to the side because this is in the way and it's too big. And um, I'm going to reset this up. I'm going to remove, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of planners sitting here on the side because I'm going to pull from them. Uh, you guys, I have been going through some things, so I need to set up. Re, I have to set up my wellness planner because and add some things. I had a doctor's appointment recently, and it wasn't very uh, it wasn't very favorable. I should say. Uh, I don't. I mean, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna take this out. I might use. I'm, I'm gonna take the tab off. I'll use use this for a. I'll put a different tab on it. Because I'm going to need to separate some things. And if I need it for later, I will do that. I'm going to save this to the side. Um, yeah, I have... Uh, this is my faith planner. I should put this inside my uh, planner here. There's some daily sheets here. So anyway, like I was saying, I, got, uh, I had a, a doctor's appointment last week. And um, they told me that I am malnutritioned and dehydrated, which was not a very positive thing for me to hear. So I was very upset about hearing that. I, w I actually, when she told me I was malnutrition, I was horrified. Because, you know, I, when I think of malnutrition, I think of back in the 70s and 80s when they used to show the kids who were starving with the big bellies and the tiny little arms and legs. And I'm like, I don't look like that. You know, I'm thinking in my head, that's what malnutrition looks to me. So I was a little upset about what I heard. I really was. Um, I have been, you know, struggling through some things. I won't, I won't deny that. But I was a little... Uh, uh, what's the word I want to say? I was a little on the upset side. And, you know, I, I had a hard time understanding it. So, um, I'm just looking to see what all this is so I'll know what I'm doing. Okay. So, I had a problem with receiving what, she, what the nutritionist had told me. So, I was a little upset about it. I'm not going to lie. I was upset about it. And uh, when she was telling me, and I'm like, how in the heck am I considered malnutrition? I'm fat as hell. So <laughs> that was my response. And the nutrition is laughing at me. She was like, well, Jessica, you're not fat. <laughs> that's, that's number one. <laughs> but, you know, I was trying to make a point. Like, I am not, you know, I'm not skinny by no means, you know, but I could not. I could not comprehend how in the world did you think that I was considered malnutritioned. Like, I really just had a hard time understanding. Now, the, the, the appointment was, you know, fairly, um, I want to say positive, but I did not receive the information. I did not f receive the, um, the news well. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> so when the nutritionist was telling me, I was looking at her like, oh, I took July out. I meant to keep July in there. So just look at, I didn't take that out. So uh, when the nutritionist was uh, saying it, 
I I don't know y'all. I'm I'm I think that's part of my problem with my brain. You guys remember me saying how I've noticed that like in mid thought or I was talking and my brain seems to be off. They're saying all oh, that is connected. I don't know. I just know I did not appreciate it and I didn't want to hear what she had to say in regards to that because I was really I was really you know upset about it. I understand what she's saying and I, I understand that you know what she's saying is you know what it is but it was hard to listen to so I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm trying to say because now I'm getting myself all riled up again so I'm going to put this inside this is my wellness planner oh here let's stick it right here I said I was going to put that away so I set up my wellness planner for um, July, August, and September. Even though we're almost done with July, I still want to keep it in there because I want to, you know, I want to not catch up, but just set up. Apparently, I'm malnutrition and dehydrated. And that I know for a fact that I was dehydrated and they were going to hospitalize me, but I said no. <laughs> if it was to a point where I couldn't function, then I would have let them. But she said I have to get my protein in. You guys know I'm a deficient in vitamins and I take vitamins for the rest of my life so I wouldn't be depleted in, in, of my nutrients. But apparently I'm not eating enough. So what I couldn't understand was how am I... I gained actually 20 pounds since COVID and um, I could not understand. So I went from 160 pounds to 180 pounds and I kept saying, how am I considered malnutrition? You know, I'm big as hell. I still feel that way because for somebody who's five feet, 180 pounds is pretty, you know, a, a nice hefty weight. So I could not understand um, why they kept telling me that I am malnutritioned. So I let her say what she had to say. She gave me some positive things. You know, we have a game plan. She wasn't going to let me leave there feeling the way I was feeling because I was really upset about what she was saying to me. And I was shut down and closed. I didn't want to hear nothing else she had to say, but I let her talk because at the end of the day, I needed to, you know, be there. With all that being said, so she um, stated that you know, you know we're gonna you, you, you we're gonna um, do better. You already know the tools. You already got the information on what you need to do. You have to get it done. So now they're telling me they want me five pounds down by the next appointment, which is in six weeks. So I have six weeks to lose five pounds, and um, yeah. So I am on an all-liquid diet, and I asked her if it was okay if I could do liquid diet. She said yes, as long as I'm doing my protein. So I'm just drinking my protein shakes to get the protein that I need, daily protein that I need, and I'm drinking water in between. So that's all I'm doing, and I'm going to do that until my body hit ketosis mode. I have ketone strips to test when my body is in ketosis, and um, until then... That's what I'm doing. I am a little pissed off about what she's saying to me, but I also don't want them to hospitalize me. So, with all that being said, I am feeling some kind of way about it, so I decided to add to my wellness, um, not just this check-in list. I actually am going to use these boxes for something, for my ketone um, instead of my food journal. I thought instead of doing nourishment, I'm just going to do, that's going to be the ketones. And then I might do something different with this. But I decided to just put my results here instead. I also um, made copies. I don't know if you've seen an earlier video on how I had um, taken the mood journal, the classic size, and made it big. So these are all the... Um, the the things that I the prompts that I want to add to them I'm not sure how I plan on incorporating them but I do have these I also have um, you know some of these these are all classic size when something is classic size I will make it big because my printer can do that 
because apparently the happy planner people don't want to make stuff in big. So anyway, um, the this is my daily um the daily planner. It, it's blank. It's a um. It's blank, so I might incorporate these, but I'm going to um, sit this to the side because I feel like it's in the way. And I just wanted to update everything and get at least get my right months in. I know, I, I know I'm all over the place. Please don't be worried. I'm okay. I'm just, I'm exhausted right now because I haven't had anything to eat. <laughs> and when you don't have nothing to eat, honey, trust me when I tell you, you feel it. <laughs> so, um, let's, okay, so this is my business planner. I have not, as you can see, have not been utilizing it. I haven't. I'm not going to lie. I haven't. I have been. I ha I just have been tired. I haven't been in the mood for it. I just haven't. So I'm going to really make it a point to get situated with my uh, business planner and do things a little different now that I have some other things coming up, up the pike, which is a good thing, I guess. But I want to put all these back in the original planner and pull out the current months. And we will go over, you know, what's, um, even though we are at the end of July, like I said, I still want to put July in here because I've been keeping three months in at a time. I know. I know this is a painful setup to watch because it's painful to do because I am exhausted. Like, I am so tired. I am. I, and I'm going to, it's kind of late right now. So I'm going to, you know, do this and I'm going to get in bed. And then I'm going to show you tomorrow when I wake up and I am refreshed <laughs> and sent, don't sound like a, um, a sleepy head. <laughs> that, um, there you go. I don't understand how that, I don't know. Anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. I, I, I'm, I'm going to get my life together. It's going to be all right. And then I think September goes in here because it's October, November, December. Yes, yeah, so September needs to get in here, too. September. what to do with these but these are gonna go sitting in the back somewhere because these are in the way I think I don't know put that yeah stick it right there and if I see any in there I'll pull them out all right so I got my my business planner situated now everything is updated for July I know I'm late July set up this was my old uh, business planner, so I had incorporated Frankenplan these two planners together to um, add stick it back in here to add these two planners together. I am not quite sure if I want to um, update some of this front stuff. Like this is my goals and um get to 2023 um subscribers and followers on ig but i'm gonna keep the faith in if it's for me it's for me everything here basically is good i never did go to jamaica we end up i end up going somewhere different for my 50th birthday but i'll put that on the back burner the lose 20 pounds is interesting how i talk about that 20 pounds because it surely is here so i need to work on that that is definitely a goal that I am going to be reaching. I also am thinking about um, going back to the gym. I haven't decided yet. The doctor told me to at least start walking. She said, at least do 10,000 steps a day, which I'm already doing Monday through Friday. But she says Saturday and Sunday doesn't look good. I hardly move. I said, yeah, I'm usually sleep all day. Honest. So, um... 
not quite sure how she wants me to work that but anyway so this is uh, this used to be my old nutrition um, this used to be my I'm gonna take this out because I don't do this anymore I actually forgot all about this I got so engulfed in everything else but he had a good idea this guy that I was seeing but I might leave it in there we'll see I don't know if I want to be bothered, but I want to set up another one of my um, things. Like, I have these here, all the, my favorite shakes. And um, this was one of my favorite protein shake to make, the peanut butter and jelly one. But peanut butter has been hurting my stomach lately. I haven't been able to ingest it. It's really been um, bothering my stomach. Um, the peaches and the bananas and the and the um, grapes in the protein shake and the ice is really pretty tasty. So I might uh, revisit some of this stuff in here because I need to do something. I need to redo these. That's what I want to do. I love how these are. So I'm thinking maybe what I can do on the back of each one is do an update of some possibilities while I'm on liquid diet, like maybe I'll put liquid diet, breakfast, lunch, and dinner instead. So that way that I have both samples. And then on this one, even though it says liquid diet here, it says planning and meal prep. doesn't really tell you what to do. It just gives you the recipe of the liquid diet. So on back of the liquid diet, I could, I could do that instead of this part. I don't know. But that's my thoughts. I want to update some of these. I want to go back to this. That's why I put this in here. Because, you know, it was in the classic size. Make it big. You know, I put it in my printer. My printer makes everything the way I want it. So, I'm still on the no cheese. I have been cheese free since October. I'm so proud of myself. It's hard, but it is definitely a great thing for me. It's been helping. Even though it is good in protein, but it's not that very good for my body. So, I am going to keep eye on this, and then I have also, I, and this is just a regular meal prep and meal plan, um, food options for, or meals to, um, you know, to make. This is a, um, daily sheet that I got, um, purchased off of Etsy, I believe, and I'm going to make one that has to do with my particular issue at this time, because... As you know, as it said, I am malnutritioned, I am dehydrated, I'm also protein deficient, vitamin D deficient. I have some deficiencies, and I do not want my um, organs to start shutting down and I end up dying because of something stupid as and not eating good enough. <laughs> That's so dumb to me. Uh, I'm going to take this out. I'm going to put this in front of, I think I'm going to put this in the back where the business planner is because this is more business oriented even though even though it is my setup for the year is still I, I'd rather it be in the business section so now I have uh, my months set up in here um, I'm going to put my ketosis my daily ketosis readings here I might print the picture out on sticker paper and just make a sticker out of it I haven't decided how I'm gonna do it and since we are just now on this week even though I know I'm late and wrong and all it we're almost due the month at least I still have it so this is the day I went to the doctor's appointment I was off this day it was a rough day for me. I felt like I worked an entire work week, work day. It was exhausting. Because I went there early in the morning. Then I decided to, it was the hottest day of the week, of the month. It was like, uh, like 94 or something. It was really hot outside. And I'm usually cold all the time. I usually don't mind the heat. But I think because I was upset and annoyed and... Um, I went straight to the laundromat on that same day. They had a power outage that I wasn't aware of. 
and you know it took my money i was annoyed i told the lady i want my money back you know i was just so annoyed and i kept saying why am i so annoyed like i know i got some bad news and i know i was annoyed but i mean uh, annoyed with the the news but i'm not usually like mean especially in public you know i'm not like that so for me to be annoyed with the lady and i told her you know you I'm not leaving here until you give me my money. <laughs> twenty dollars is twenty dollars. You know, I was like, it's not like it was two dollars. It was twenty. So, um, long story short, I kept going. What is my deal? Like, I got in the car. Well, of course, my money. It, they were able to fix everything. Got my, was waiting for my clothes to wash. I put everything in the washer. Ran some errands. But I was sitting in the car. I pulled out this book and I started reading the book to calm my my nerves and everything down. And I'm like, why are you like, you know, why? what's the matter? What's going on? And I realized, you know, people get irritated when they're in the heat and they're hot. Well, apparently that's what it was, among other things. And being nutrition deficient can also mess with you mentally, apparently. You guys, I'm over that crap. So I want to um, track my moods. I want to attract... Um, uh, um, I want to track my ketones. I want to know how quickly I can go in ketosis. Um, if you don't know what ketosis is, it's basically where the keto diet came from. But ketosis is when your body stops storing fat but starts burning the fat. And I, um, I re before surgery, I was able to put myself in ketosis. And I lost like 10 pounds in two weeks. So that's what my goal is trying. I don't care about the pounds. My my I'm trying to get myself into ketosis mode so that I can start from scratch. I figure starting me starting being able to start from scratch with my food, I'll be able to better you know get a a jump start on my weight loss. So let me show you my um my step down this is a 10 day pouch reset that i created for myself and that my nutritionist looked over it she said there was nothing wrong with anything that i had on here except for she said except for the mashed potatoes and the grits the oatmeal and the cream of wheat so these last three she said the only way she wants me to eat them if i put um protein powder in them then she said they were okay to do so this was something I created a while ago. I think I did it on on uh, on a video once. I don't remember. Last year I think it was. Or the beginning of this year. I can't remember. But I knew. I already knew even then. That I needed to get this together. But I guess I wasn't ready yet. So here I am. Getting everything together. And um, this is what my my what I'm, my thoughts are. I have this on the refrigerator. That's where I had it. I had it hanging on the refrigerator. But I had clear liquid. But I decided that I wasn't gonna go straight um, water because I'm already protein deficient. So I just went on plain liquid, like just the protein shake, the um, the water, the broth. You know, that kind of stuff. I didn't do any pudding or any juice or coffee or anything. Oh, speaking of coffee. Apparently, I am dehydrated because I drink too much coffee. Coffee is dehydrating me. And I said, or even, the, I said, but you told me caffeine dehydrates me. That's why I went to decaf. And she said, nope. The coffee period dehydrating you. You got to stop drinking. it. So, that's part of my issue with the... Uh, with that, <laughs> apparently, that I'm in here dehydrating myself because I apparently ain't got nothing else better to do. Oh, y'all, I'm telling you, when it rains, it pours. <laughs> so, I am going to glue this to the back of here. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to print this to the back of this. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I was able to print it on the back of here, and this is what it looks like, so that I always have it just in case, and then what I'll do is I'll just, you know, update it and, you know, put on here, must add a protein powder, 
Um, let me use the red so we can just and we're gonna go down here. Must add protein. That way, I don't get in trouble. Because that was the one thing she did say. If you, she, she was like, I don't want you to eat none of these. Um, because they told me that I am protein deficient. I mean, malnutritioned. And, okay, so they told me I was malnutritioned and dehydrated. And I didn't understand it. So what I did was I went on Google, believe it or not. I Googled it. I know they tell you you shouldn't do that. But I did. I googled it, and because I couldn't, my brain just couldn't wrap around. Like, how are you telling me I'm malnutritioned? Like, I was really offended. <laughs> but I couldn't understand. I'm like, how am I malnutritioned? I, you know, I gained 20 pounds. I'm 180 pounds. There's no way I am malnutritioned. You know, so I just could not accept that. So what happened was when I went online to look it up. It explained that even oh, um, you can be obese, overweight, whatever word you want to use, and be malnutrition because you're eating a whole lot of food that has no nutritional value. So basically, you sitting there eating carbs. That's what it is. All those carbs, they have no nutritional value. That's why you're malnutrition. When I read that, I was just like, oh my God, what am I doing to myself? I was so disappointed after that. So, I have to do better. So, I here's my wellness um, planner. And I um, updated it. So, when it's time for me to do this portion, I'm going to write on the back of here, uh, liquid diet. Liquid diet schedule or menu whatever you want to call it i'm gonna put slash menu and then we can do that i i can either do that or print it out i'm most likely gonna print on it just like i did this one because it's easier but it's gonna be um let me see if i have it do i have it written down i don't have it written down but it's similar to this i like showing this because i'm really proud of this <laughs> because i was able to come up with you know what my brain is going to work. Now they said there's no such thing as a 10 day pouch reset. But it does reset my mind. Like I literally can focus better. Even though you know I'm a little in ketosis mode. Basically starvation mode. <laughs> and uh, why my body jump starts. I know that sounds really bad being, being as though I'm malnutritioned. That's not a good idea but. It really is okay because I'm t I'm taking in my protein um, daily protein amount and my water intake is fine. So, but my body goes still goes in ketosis because I'm doing all liquid and no um, no no food at all. I'm just drinking my protein and drinking my water and that's it. No carbs, no sugar, none of those things which will bring my body in ketosis now sometimes some people can't go in ketosis in 24 hours 48 hours you know 72 hours or it may take them up to a week to go into ketosis which is why i am kicking my urine every day with the ketosis strips until i know when i'm in ketosis mode because when i know i'm in ketosis mode it determines it tells me how long i want to be in liquid diet because after that, I'm going to do the step down. I should have probably called it step down instead of 10-day uh, pouch reset. Because from what I hear, there's no real pouch reset. Once it's stretched out, you can't shrink it back. That's what I was told. So, Anywho, regardless of what it is, I am going to... Oh, I am going to create a liquid diet that looks similar to this. So where it says breakfast... It's, it's going to say protein shake. Lunch is going to say protein shake. Dinner is going to say protein shake. Here it just says pro, it says protein shake for breakfast. And for breakfast, uh, for lunch and dinner, uh, four ounces of protein, two ounces of dark um, vegetables. 
dark green vegetables and you know water in between if I can get my body used to this mode then I'll be able to keep my my liquids in and I won't be dehydrated so that's the plan that I am going to um, do on the back of here so that way I am getting myself set up for success because I um I want to be around for a little while. I, didn't, I just turned 50 uh, last month, and I want to enjoy my 50s. I mean, I want to see 60s and 70s and 80s. I want to see them if God wills, you know? But I ain't trying to go out like this. <laughs> I know I'm joking about it now, but I was a little annoyed. I wasn't even upset or scared. I was pissed. <laughs> if I could be blunt and honest with you, I was. I was pissed off. Because I felt like that was crap and I shouldn't even have had to go through that. So I am, um, just wanted to show you this quick setup of my, um, my wellness planner, my wellness and my business Franken plan together. I am going to, um, incorporate these pages when I figure out how I want to incorporate them. I'm sorry y'all. I'm babbling on and on and on. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me that big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe to it's free. All you have to do is click that subscribe button down below and we are part of the same family. Yay for me. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. So thanks for watching. Until next time, be blessed.